Good morning, channel. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been doing stuff, but keep trying to make a video, but I'm just not in the right headspace for it and the shit that I make. I just don't love it. So this is going to be a brief video though, just to show you what's up. So as you may or may not be aware, um, every year I am usually in the book called Cerulean Project where I do my art. And, um, I think, I think I've made a decision on what I'm going to do and you're looking at it. Um, so yeah, how about them apples? Um, I found this file on that Gambody website that I've mentioned a couple of times of Space Godzilla. Um, this thing, as you can see, is going to be massive. And this is only a fraction of it. Uh, the tail is probably more mass than even this body. And toothbrush for scale. Ah, shit. It's not sanded or nothing. I'm essentially, you know, this project is going to be later in the year. I don't think it's due until like October or November. But, um, yeah, so I'm printing these pieces and... This is far from what's going to be the final product. I'm going to do what you have seen me do before and use it basically as a platform to build on top of. So there's going to be a lot of sculpting with Milliput. There's going to be a lot of use of like coarse uh, texture mediums and pastes. I'm really going to build on this. Like this is just going to be part of, this is going to be what's underneath of Elevate. Um, I definitely wanted to have a lot more spikes and a lot more like rocky texture. These layer lines obviously have got to go. It's a filament print, but we can hide those easily. We've, I have done several projects now where you can't even tell it's filament printed, um, which is perfectly fine. Also, got to really smooth up those teeth. There's so many teeth in this thing. Maybe it needs more. I don't know. But um, this is what we're starting with here. Yeah, it's it's absolutely massive. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to put this thing. Um, I, even if like this is definitely going to be kind of a quote unquote one off sort of because I just I don't have room to put massive three foot long kaiju in my fucking house um, anyway um, I'll let you guys watch as I go through this process um, the pieces will be printed now I may not start any actual work work on this until a couple months but if you really want to see how to take a 3D print like this and really turn it into just a complete total different insane work of art that would just blow minds hopefully um, stay tuned on this project and we'll see how it goes. Um, and then I got other stuff I'm still working on. Um, don't know how that's all going to go, but I'm just going to take it a day at a time because kind of ups and downs, you know, I tried to make some videos and they were just going to trash so I didn't post them. Not that this is going to be amazing or anything, but, uh, just a quick update, you know, just to show y'all what I'm working on. And yeah, I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to show you guys, um, but it will be Space Godzilla from the, I think, 94 movie with Space Godzilla in it. He's only been in one Godzilla movie. It's a damn travesty because uh, he's Godzilla that's mutated with space crystals, sort of. And he also has, I think, Mothra DNA. I don't know. I'm not a fucking Godzilla lore person. Someone will come in and ring the hammer down on me for even saying something wrong. And I don't care. Anyway, but yeah, this is the beginning. Stay tuned. Bye.